Razvan4356 donated $20 and says, I, can't, I cannot not donate for that blindfolded Tetris run. Amazing. That blew my mind. Greetings from Romania. Just about 1 a.m. here. To all runners, you rock. Cheers. I have an anonymous $20 donation that says the, gr the Grand Mattress Tetris spots on GDQ are my favorite. Thanks everyone at GDQ, announcers, tech people, staff, volunteers for all the hard work. And to all of the runners giving their time. Yay! Special shout out to Half Coordinated for the Momodora run. Your comments were amazing and brought tears to my eyes. I have an anonymous $50 donation that says being homesick on my birthday ain't bad at all when I get to watch SGDQ. Shout out to the MCs and AV crew working hard to make the magic happen. Keep it up, you lovely people, and put my donation to the MC's choice. I have an anonymous $100 donation that says great cause and great runs. Save those animals. Just as an update, since I have been keeping you guys up to date on donation incentives, the current status of save or kill the animals is taking a while to load, so I'm going to read another donation. VDKMTN donated $50 and says, That Tetris block was insane. I thought I was good at for clearing a line. Excited to see the trial showcase because it's one of my favorite games. Since it won before I could donate this, we'll go towards saving the animals. They're cute. Save them, right? All right. So the current totals have made Kill pull a little bit back ahead. They were close for a bit, but Kill is currently at $43,166, and Save is at $42,860. It's still within striking distance, but Kill is managing to stay ahead pretty consistently here. So if you'd like to change that outcome, you definitely should get your donations in. Uh, if we look past Trials Fusion at the Fallout 3 glitch talk out with your dad for the heartfelt talk is at $4,062 out of 6,000. So just a little bit under 2,000 to go for that. Before that, the character choice, uh, the character race choice, excuse me, for Morrowind is still pretty close between Kajit and Argonian with Kajit being ahead now at 2,916, and Argonian having fallen back to 2,720. Those are still very close and could be easily changed before that comes up. I have an anonymous $10 donation that says, Remember, runners, a tea leaf falling on a panda's chest does not mean that the tiger likes avocado. With this proverb, I'll leave the wisdom of the money to the announcer's choice. If the announcer reads this, I'll donate another 10. Go SGDQ. I would like to take a moment and talk about SavePoint. Uh, SavePoint is the current sponsor that's working to provide arcade at this event. They have arcade and pinball machines. They buy, sell, and rent arcades and pinballs, buy, sell, and trade video games and imports. And you can check them out at savepointreloaded.com. As well, if you go to theyeti.com slash SGDQ, you can check out the SGDQ shirts. The Yeti is the official t shirt sponsor of Games Done Quick Events since 2012, and with every $11 shirt sold from the SGDQ collection, they will donate $3 towards Doctors Without Borders. The shirts are available during July and until July 10th at midnight.
As an update, since a lot of people have been donating towards the Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland 100% run, that is currently at $4,037 out of the $5,000 re required. And the bonus low percent run for Super Mario World tomorrow is sitting at 1000 out of the 30000 required. We still have plenty of time towards that one, so let's get some of those donations towards a heartfelt talk with Dad and finishing off the Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland incentive. I have a $100 donation from Dom236 who says, To everyone involved with GDQ, simply put, you are amazing. Bringing folks together through gaming for an awesome cause, helping people in need through Doctors Without Borders, GDQ is one of the best of gaming events, period. You are a shining example of the best of our industry. My humble thanks to all organizers, runners, tech folks, and everyone else who contributes to this outstanding production. Best of luck. You guys rock. Lastly, always save the animals, Dom. Dutchmark donated $10, agreeing with our last donor and saying, Loving SGDQ, another 10 for saving the animals. Cheers from Amsterdam. Universal Error donated $25 and says, Just in time for the one run I wanted to see today. Trials all the way. It has been a while since I've reminded you about this one, so I would like to remind everyone that Humble Bundle has a Summer Games Done Quick 2016 bundle. Uh, a Humble Bundle is a pay-what-you-want bundles that supports charity. They offer bundles for video games, mobile, ebooks, comics, and the Humble Store. They have raised over $75, millions, $75 million for charities such as Doctors Without Borders and many more. You can check out the Summer Games Done Quick bundle at humblebundle.com slash sgdq-2016 bundle. This bundle includes games like VVVVVVV, Dust Force, Guacamelee, Escape Goat, Super Meat Boy, Freedom Planet, and Serious Sam. I have a $10 donation from Royal Volpine who says, I'm going to be very sad that this will be the last we see of TGM and GDQ for quite a while, but it has and will always be an incredible part of Games Done Quick history. It's been an awesome, mind-blowing ride. This donation, while small, is entirely in dedication to everything that the TGM crew has shown us in all these years. May that coveted GM rank ever be reachable for you, and for all of us here, thank you to the TGM crew. You guys are all world-class grandmasters to me. We just received an anonymous $1,000 donation. Thank you very much for that donation, Anonymous.
I have a $70 donation from Bob and Cat that says, Thank you for this awesome event. Watching so many games from our childhood getting wrecked over the past days has been awesome. With a little heart at the end. Thank you, Bob and Cat. So just as a reminder, since this was opened up just a bit before TGM, well, actually, I think it was during TGM, Super Mario World low percent as a bonus run has been added to the tracker as a donation incentive. This will be taking place tomorrow after the Super Mario World all castles run. Currently, it is sitting at just a bit over 1000 out of the $30,000 that it needs to be completed. But since we have most of a day to get it, I am confident that we can get it there. So if you want to see that bonus low percent run, small Mario only, by Rezafos, then please send in your donations. I would also like to take one more opportunity to thank everyone who has donated so far. Your donations, no matter how big or small, are very appreciated and are going to a great cause. Everything makes a difference. Thank you very much. Imi donated $11 and says, I'm donating the number of hours I work today. Working and attending my first SGQ this week has been rough, but the cause is worth it. I've tried to be here every day with my boyfriend since we have watched GDQ several years together now. Thank you to everyone involved for making this happen. Can I get some hype for the Bethesda block coming up? I have an anonymous $10 donation who says, Greetings from England. After watching that TGM exhibition, I felt it would be wrong of me not to chip in another $10 towards something. This time, I'm putting it towards the Super Mario low percent run. Thank you very much, Anonymous. I have a $50 anonymous donation that says, The final Pam shall ride again. The final Pam shall consume the souls of her enemies. The final Pam is inside us all, and our most wonderful dreams and horrific nightmares. The final Pam was us all along. All right, everybody. Charles Fusion, let's do a roll call. I'm the Blaze JP. Vanter. I'm the Boss Hoss. I'm Matt ADM. All right, we're going to do a countdown in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Okay, so this time around with Trials, we wanted to do a community track showcase and uh, show the power of the editor and the variety that can be created inside the editor. Um, so we're going to be starting out here on a level, this is an uh, in-game level, it's the only one that we're going to be playing in the run. But uh, we're going to start off by dematerializing here and jumping into some retro arcade. So this one is, I think, in the style of Donkey Kong, and the next one should be familiar to everybody watching. <laughs> so in this one, you can actually get shot, like you like did that. right there. <laughs> So not only riding on a retro bike, you have to avoid the guy shooting at you. 
And as this level progresses, uh, the score is counting up at the bottom as you're collecting dots and everything. And here goes the end of the in-game tracks. Okay, so the next one everybody should recognize. This is what happens when Charles comes across Super Mario Maker. So the sound you're hearing in the background is actually edited and made within the trials editor as well. Takes a while to program that stuff. Yeah, this track was created by um, a dude in the community called Benanet in the French, French side of the community in Trials. <laughs> I do have a donation from someone you might recognize when you have yeah, a moment. Go ahead. Uh, Darhole donated $50 <laughs> and says, Can't believe you cut the Pokemon track, please. Shame. <laughs> Best of luck, guys. Glad you got through TSA. Boss Hoss. Just Boss Hoss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got that checkpoint. Um, that one's a bit... That one is, like, pretty much impossible to not fault there. I'm not sure if it was intended to be designed that way. But, uh, yeah, this should be a, a, an easily recognizable theme for most people watching at home. Um, some of the visuals on this track are just awesome. Yeah, and a lot of the set, set pieces, like what you see in the background, it, that, that isn't actually normally in-game. That's actually made out of like close to 300, 400 different in-game objects. So in this run, we're going to be having a variety of <laughs> yeah, you guys should recognize this scene. Um, we're going to be having a variety of, of custom uh, gaming theme tracks and just a load of tracks with awesome animations. Um, and in the later stages of the run, we're going to be really spiking up the difficulty and doing some ridiculously hard ninja tracks. Uh, Vanti, you might want to mention the uh, analog control in the bottom right and what exactly that's Right, showing. yeah. Uh, the I actually, um, me and a friend in uh, Canada actually worked on that controller overlay. I kind of designed the layout after the GDQ layout so it kind of blend in. And uh, he did all the programming and stuff, so shout outs to Psycat. Woo! Cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, our invisible bike challenge or incentive got met, so Ventio will be showcasing that at the end of the run. Coming up now, we've got a track that's um, by the team of five, which is uh, a group of five members 
um, some of the most craziest, uh, they have some of the most skill in the editor out of anybody um, who's made custom trials tracks. Uh, they collaborate and build these tracks together, um, which is something that's really awesome about the editor. You can uh, come together and, and make tracks instead of just having to build, build something entirely by yourself. and that T-Rex there is made completely out of rocks that are just colored green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this can be quite tricky to get, as you have to go really fast. So right here we have a, um, this is kind of like the inside of a, a child's bedroom and everything is really small and you're basically playing as the size of like a, like a little action figure. Um. <laughs> There's so much little details. We've got a couple of donations you can hit us with some. I have $100 from Allison Hoffman who says, For Metal Husband. Donald M TFG donated $20 and says, Excited to see some trials. Thanks, Blaze, Bossos, and Vontier from, and Matt. From all of us at Trials Frontier, Frontier Group, get it in. So this was one of the submissions to our recent competition. Uh, this is inspired, of course, by uh, Duck, DuckTales. Um, and uh, we're just going to quickly play through this and uh, show off some of the custom animations that the guy created on this level. Lasers can be a bit tricky. That was close. That was really <laughs> close. Got it very close though. battle place oh yeah absolutely <laughs> big shout out to calzone for that one awesome creation 
I have $100 from Fatty Streaks. It says, can't thank all the runners and organizers enough for, an ama for these amazing events. Put my donation towards the Mario World bonus low percent run in the hopes that I can get home from work in time to see it. So back to a more um, normal driving line here. This is one by, I think the guy's name is THTDEE. -E. It's kind of like a radioactive, kind of like Fallout um, 4 kind of backdrop going on in the environment. Max Me donated $20. This says, I love tr trials and I love this event. Having such a great time. Thank you. Greetings from Germany. So there's going to be quite a few tracks in uh, this showcase that are going to be um, showing off uh, obstacles that like kind of come together just as you're about to get to the driving line. So it's like moving on to the driving line. Um, it's like very like mechanical kind of animations that you've got to like you know know prehand where they're going to be moving to. Borads donated ten dollars and says, "Let's go, Blaze Owl hype." Of course. And a lot of the uh, tracks that people create, they have these awesome custom animations at the end of them. And I'm going to play maybe one, maybe two, and uh, showcase the, the added effects people put at the end of their tracks. Yeah, keep the donations coming. I have a $50 anonymous donation. Blaze, I keep my promise, so I donate here. I really want to thank you for supporting me in my trial speedrunning. Thanks to you, I moved from top 10,000 a year ago till 600 now. Keep up the run, and hype for this donation goes toward the runner's choice. Well, yeah, we'll put it towards the fallout coming up. Proxy145 donated $20. It says, Trials Fusion? So many games in one game. Gameception. <laughs> P.S. My cat says, Save the Animals. Tenmachi donated $50 and says, Thanks for de feeding the T Rex, Blaze. He was looking a bit hungry just now. <laughs> Good luck to you and Van Vantier on the rest of the run. Donation goes to Blaze's choice. Okay, so we're going to jump back in. I had to include this one. Um, again, you guys uh, should easily recognize this one. Um, gonna go into some Green Hill Zone here. Yeah, it's just crazy what people can create. And of course, like you, you don't have to use the bike. You can make all kind of custom, um, you know, individuals and uh, characters and design anything in the Charles Editor. Worth noting on this track, he actually is on the bike. It's just invisible, and this is just like a spray overlaying on the bike. So that jump he did right there is actually really difficult. You can't tell because he did it really easy, but. And as, as the no donation incentive was met, you will see what invisible bikes look like. So <laughs> not being able to see your bike is much harder than it looks. Sure. Yep. Yeah, 
All right, so in general, trials is all based on leaning and gas. <clears throat> and gas isn't just off or on, unless you play on a keyboard, but we're playing on controllers. So you actually use throttle, and you'll see that a lot in the ninja tracks, going up vertical walls, doing crazy stuff like that. Um, if you really want to get good at this game and master mechanics, it's just constant repetition of leaning. Like all this stuff, Blaze is making it look pretty easy, but you put someone new on the game and they're going to really struggle getting over little jumps like that. And the physics are pretty realistic besides the stuff like fender hooks, which you'll see eventually and going upside down. But as far as leaning and weight distribution, it's uh, fairly realistic. So for example here, that's a lot of throttle control, like really small input um, on the trigger to be able to transverse up that wall. And if you pay attention to the uh, controller overlay on the bottom right, you'll see the feathering of the throttle when he's going uphill and stuff. Again, we've got another great example here of uh, things that can be created that are completely different to the main game. Uh, this is called Rush Speedway. Um, and it's made by a dude called Pneumatic Bog. <laughs> Head us with a couple of donations, if you will. I have a $20 donation from the Jareth. If I ever become obscenely rich, I will orbital strike some donation incentive at the last minute with my wealth. Until then, doing what I can. Great job, runners. Thanks for all the work you put in. I also have a $50 donation from Mercer Drake. Here's $50 for the oft-overlooked Trash Hulk. He would save the animals, and so should we. Just as a reminder, you are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2016, benefiting Doctors Without Borders, also known as Médecins Sans Frontières. You can watch us at gamesdonequick.com or on our Twitch page. As an update to the Metroid donation incentive, since we have been getting quite a few people donating for save, it has pulled within $200, but Kill is still leading. All right, uh, just to explain what you're seeing right now, he's supposed to look like a rabbit, but because we failed to uh, adjust the view distance before the run started, you're seeing a floating head. <laughs> but if you squint a little bit, it kind of looks like a rabbit. This, is, this, <laughs> this game is uh, inspired by a Japanese game, am I right there, Vance? Yeah, I, I forgot the name. <laughs> This, this race is actually a bit rigged, because even if you wait at the start, you can still beat the turtle at the end if you just go fast enough on the last checkpoint. But he's going to beat him anyway. Echo36 donated $10 and says, I was wondering why you weren't playing Trials Evolution. Then, wow, these custom tracks are incredible. Big thanks to the runners and tech crew. I'll spare you another Doctors Without Borders pun. I didn't know that could hit you, did you? No. I've never seen that before. I'm sure some of you guys at home have been noticing that we've been actually been riding as Rayman for the majority of these tracks. Um, it's uh, it's cool to, you can have like customizations and things that you can change your rider uh, to be models from other games that you play. Again, a nice really example there of the uh, custom animations that can interact with the driving line um, and change the visual path that you're going to see and then be driving on afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
So there was a building competition recently in Charles. This is the winner, which was BCC 5397. Uh, As you guys can see, um, every track creator and the name of the tracks are displayed as I'm just before I'm playing them. Um, there was, I think the theme of the building competition was like elements, uh, the four elements, and this was the, the, bit, the, winning com uh, the winning track. I think there was a little over 30 submissions uh, to the, the, the competition recently. As we're going into these underwater sections, the, um, the physics uh, change, the bike becomes very floaty. Um, so you just got to make sure that you don't make any mistakes because you will easily fall down if you don't get grip when you're underwater. I have a $5 donation from Exhibit. Yo dog, I heard you like do games, so I put some games in your games so you can game while you game. <laughs> Wow, sometimes you can get these awkward transitions when you're coming out of um, cutscenes like that at high speed. Okay, we got it. Mel42 donated $5 and says, SGDQ is always so much fun. Thanks for bring us, bringing us all together for a good cause. So as I was saying a minute ago, the underwater track, this track is uh, for the majority completely underwater and uh, there are some uh, massive crabs in the background that do interact with the driving line and uh, we'll see that in a second. There's also some submarines and all, all kinds of stuff. This is one of my personal favourites that I picked um, for the showcase. The driving line is also impeccable, um, in my opinion, on this driving line. That Dan donated $5 and says, Watch the trials run every GEQ and I'm enjoying the showcase. Keep up the good work. Get in blaze. Thanks, Dan. Okay, so uh, getting on to some of the harder uh, tracks in, in my section now. Playing a few extremes here. Um, this one is called Guardian, again by THD uh, TE, and uh, it's going to be showing some nice uh, techniques. Maybe you could explain a few of these as I do them, Bossos. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see a little bit more vertical walls, some more difficult things, like having to land your back wheel right there to build the transition smoothly. Grab there. So this checkpoint right here is really just keeping your forward momentum as you're uh, going up the hill, which can be difficult and hitting two or three different pieces. <sighs> Practice. This was definitely one of the uh, <laughs> trouble checkpoints. Bobo, for short, donated $20 and says, I've been watching GDQ since the beginning. I've never missed an event and never failed to donate. Here's to keeping the tradition. Put this to announcer's choice. Um, the theme to the track coming up here is very uh, Mad Max-esque. Yeah, it's in the desert. There's a lot of chasing uh, cars. And some of the cars actually will be creating ramps that we will be riding over um, as they're driving right in front of the, the player model.
some awesome slow-mo effects right here. I'll try and get this. Yeah, quite a few of the tracks that I selected have this like post-apocalyptic theme. You can actually see in the background, um, if you look in the far off distance, there's a Statue of Liberty. Um, Okay, I got the seesaw. XC donated $30 and says, been following GDQ since 2013 and always love having tons of content to watch on YouTube after. Thanks to all runners. Shout out to the Realm community. So we were mentioning earlier how we had a building competition for BCC Five. This was last year's um, with BCC Four. Um, uh, this one, I'm not sure the theme. I think it might have been like a, a water theme. And uh, this one has some really, really cool animations going on here. Can I get this backflip? Not quite. This track also has something pretty unique about it. He'll go into a little cutscene and have to do a button mash combination that is randomized. So that can either make him go faster or slower. If he gets it, you'll see it coming up. The final Pam donated $50 and says, The one true name for Fallout 4 is the final Pam. Final Pam must make Metal Husband proud with speedy, speedy, fast game. Borderless doctors must bow to final Pam. I got it, but barely. <laughs> one of the few tracks you're actually using the rabbit on, right? Yeah, and uh, the, it's, of course it's uh, completely side-on, very Limbo-esque, um, black and white. There's a few colors mixed in, but this is uh, in the style of, uh, I guess, Limbo-ish. Okay, so this is, there is a purple disc. Um, didn't quite get it here, but you actually have to touch it with the front tire or the bottom part won't activate. Yeah, we got it at the time. I have a $50 anonymous donation that says, super excited to see Fallout 4 get time at, at GDQ this year. Can't wait to see all my favorite characters like Metal Husband and Rochi, the raddest Roach. So this part here, we're just coasting it and it should, didn't quite make the upper route, but um, something that I've explained at previous events or trials is sometimes you can um, exceed the top speed of a bike if you just l let go of the gas on the downhills and you gather that momentum up. Um, this this uh, track here is very World War One and World War Two um, themed. Some really cool animations going on as we're flying over the uh, ports of this track.
Okay, so coming up here, we've got a couple of tracks that I selected. Um, they have a bit of a touch of humor um, in the designs. Uh, this one here we, is a good example also of uh, animations that you're completely riding on. So the driving line is not static um, uh, for the most part. Uh, it's moving as you're moving with the bike, so you're having to like time some jumps and uh, get those time savers. I have a fifty dollar and one cent donation from Big Big McLarge Huge Four, who says, "Hanging out with a friend, ready for the Bethesda block. In the meantime, loving the Trials Fusion Run. Keep up the good work, everyone, and keep coming to Minnesota. We love you here, don't you know?" my personal favorites. Um, the creator of these two tracks here is a, a dude called Swamp Balls. So this track is showing some interesting um, uh, features that the guy has uh, created with the driving line. Um, some of these uh, obstacles you can ride on, but if you get enough elevation and height, um, you will catch a vine that you can skip the lower parts of the track on. So you've also seen Blaze switch between the Roach and the Viper a lot. Um, what he's using right now is the Roach. It's a little bit faster, but not as agile. When you're going to see the Pit Viper, which can be used just for the Ninja Tracks and some of his speed runs, you can do a little bit more difficult objects. And it's quicker, not as high as an overall speed, though. <laughs> I have a $5 donation from Timmy Tucker, who says, Greetings from South Africa. Really enjoying the run, Blaze JP. Never knew this game could be played to such a high level. First GDQ I get to watch live, too. Keep up the great work. Hype! Hype! P.S. Kill the animals. Donation goes towards the runner's choice. Put it towards the fallout. Look forward to that one. Would you say this is probably one of the most technical driving lines you're going to be playing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as far as the extremes that I'm playing go. Okay, so uh, this is RTC Fire Mechanic. It is made by a French builder called Macarenzi. Um, he is known for his outstanding animations. Um, he, I, he has a track on Fusion called Le Monde de Morphe 4, and it's six minutes long of animations that come together on the driving line like this. If I can get this, actually, no, that's not going to work.
Alright, we got it. This little button there that you have to press to activate the next section. And just to give an idea of how long it would take to make something like this, having some experience in the editor, I guess this took anywhere from 70 to 80 hours easily. Nice, we've got the time save. Oh, not quite. I have an anonymous $35 donation that says, The Final Pam. Okay, so this track is going to have, um, in the latter stages of it, some mind-bender-type ben kind of uh, animations where the, uh, the gravity and the, uh, the, I guess, orientation of the screen um, are going to be changing on the driving line. I have a $15 donation from probably being sarcastic, who says, donated during the Bioshock run, but felt that I needed to donate again after I saw Scrooge McDuck run over his grandnephews with a motorcycle. <laughs> Since we just killed some animals, hopefully it's okay to save the animals in Super Metroid. Also, shout out to my friend Kathleen. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. With that and a few of the other save donations we've been getting recently, save has pulled within a hundred dollars of kill. Within 150, excuse me. So still very tight race. Uh, Fallout 4 has been steadily, or Fallout 3, excuse me, the glitch with dad, the heartfelt talk, has been steadily gaining some money. Is up to 4,700 out of 6,000, only needing just about 1,300 more in order for that to be completed. Okay, so uh, second to last track here in my segment. Um, this is inspired by the TV show. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have it here over in the States. Uh, this is uh, Wipeout Night Edition. Some of these obstacles are really, really dodgy, but I had to include this. And as Boss House mentioned earlier, this game's all about physics, and when the obstacles are made of physics, it makes them that much more difficult. Gang of One donated $25 and says, this is for the Monster Factory, Rochi and all of Final Pam's Metal Babies. I keep clipping this. Yeah. That works.
Nice. Gather enough speed here to make this into the finish line. Please go, please go, please go. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I did yeah. take it. So we're going to be ending with another Team of Five track here, and I chose this one to end with because um, it really does show uh, the best mix, I think, of what can be done in the in the trials editor. And uh, this uh, it has a few boss battles that we're going to be seeing coming up here. Some of the subtle animations on this track are very sleek. I have a $50 donation from Morph201. It says, my internet's been out since Friday. Huge heartbreak for me on watching live. That sure doesn't stop me from donating, though. Take this money, Mr. Announcer Guy, and throw it at whatever incentive you happen to be hyping at the moment. Shout out to Bob and Ezra at home, too, if you could. Even though Bob is Canadian, he still deserves some love, right? I also have $20 from Corey Mill who says, Aw yeah, love Trials Fusion. These community maps are awesome. Uh, that was a perfect clue. I have $5 from Delta141 who says, Donating again because I'm so proud of Rayman for making it into SGDQ this year. <laughs> That is a random generation of uh, numbers on that, letters. Okay, so this was my segment of a showcase of the Trials Editor. I hope everybody enjoyed it. We're going to switch over to some really difficult ninja tracks now. Keep your headset on. Yeah, I know. Explain why we're going into the other bus house. <laughs> That's all you've been to here. All right. Um, well, just to be uh, safe prior to uh, doing the showcase. Um, so it turns out when uh, you're downloading custom tracks in this game, you don't actually download them. You still have to be connected to uh, the Ubisoft servers. So um, to get around that, we did some third party shenanigans and uh, <laughs> downloaded the custom tracks just in case, because if the Ubisoft servers would have been down during this, we would have not been able to do anything. So uh, for uh, this second half of this run, we're going to be playing in the editor. So these are all custom tracks as well. And just to explain what ninja difficulty is, so <clears throat> in the base game, there's beginner through extreme. And then in the community, people want more of a challenge. So it goes up from ninja one all the way up to level seven. And I think only five people have passed the one level seven in existence. There might be more at this point. Um, and we're going to be showcasing up to level one, twos, and threes. 
Um, and it's just basically an increase in difficulty. There's going to be some tracks where the obstacles are either only back wheel or front wheel or just really steep climbs. And you're going to see that they're a lot more difficult than just a standard extreme. And uh, yeah, there's going to be slowly increasing in difficulty as we play on. But these are all still created by uh, the community. And that, what you saw right there, that's called a fender hook. And you're going to be seeing a lot of them. I have $5 from Border Track who says, couldn't sit idle while my brother from South Africa donated. Finally convinced me to make one of my own. South Africa loves you, SGDQ. Keep being awesome. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. What's uh, Van Teer's run Runner's Choice? Uh, what, whatever the next donation is, Fallout. I always have trouble with this first checkpoint. You can actually just jump right up here, but I keep choking on it. So there's another um, ex example of a slow climb into a fender turn around. Yeah, when your nose is hanging on it like that, we call it a Spider-Man. And it's just all uh, really subtle throttle control like he's doing right now. And as far as these ninja tracks go, um, if we zero fault any of them live, that's really, really good. We can play these at home and grind them and grind them and eventually zero fault them, but doing it live is really, really difficult. The consistency level has to be really high. So you should expect anywhere from 5 to up to 30 on some tracks. $200 from Von Bears, who says, Hype for Witness and Taskbot. Love watching these GDQ marathons. Always a good watch and for a good cause. Good luck on the rest of the runs. And uh, again, <laughs> even with the uh, ninja tracks, we've got these little subtle animations that you guys can see. Doors closing, parts of the track falling off, and just nice little touches that the creators have put into the levels. So that's a required fender hook into uh, what we call a fender climb. So going from a fender into a vertical wall. They can be small ones or they can go get a lot longer than that. Just depends on the track. Cutscene here. I don't think I've ever even seen this before. I have fifty dollars from someone it sounds like you might recognize as well. Uh, Wasteless says, greetings to my fellow Elite Trials writers and Blaze JP. Looking forward to the wacky tracks and tricky ninjas that are in store. Also can't wait for Van Tier's invisible bike run. It will either look spectacular or be a complete choke fest with an angry ginger at the helm. It's <laughs> <laughs> all wasteless. Hoping instead that things go well. Good luck to the runners. P.S. Remember, don't mess up any Fugal Puffs. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, wasteless. <laughs> so as you can see, if you... Uh, Hold gas and spam brake as fast as possible. Doing that, it launches your rider up when you get on your nose. Essentially what's happening is um, the angular momentum as it's turning, by spamming the X, you're enhancing the speed at which that's happening. So it allows you to get over those sharp corners. 
All right, this checkpoint's pretty tough. He has to ride up that vertical, and it gives you barely enough room to do a backflip and balance on your nose. <laughs> the tough part is getting grip on this vertical part, going off this jump. As you can see, there are multiple different techniques to pass an obstacle. Nora donated $25 and says, Oh dang, I already donated, but I didn't see that the final Pam was an option. So I'll donate again because Rochi must be avenged. I must find my metal husband. And a lot of the lines that we'll be driving on have these bombs that you have to um, avoid in the middle of the obstacles. Yeah, that's kind of exclusive to ninjas most of the time, unless they're just trying to block off an area they don't want you to go. Yeah, it's very uncommon for there to be many bombs on uh, normal speed run lines. So yeah, the red things are bombs if you guys didn't know. possible to just bounce right up there, but I'm bad apparently. <laughs> wow, first try. <laughs> Got a first try, no, dude, killing it. That's easily one of the most annoying checkpoints. Yeah, it doesn't look hard, but I it is extremely tough. Ian D. Jones donated $34 and says, Thank you so much, SGDQ runners and staff. This is truly a beautiful event. Just started my work week donating all the tips I receive each day. Shout out to the Bethesda block runners, Albino Albatross, Kill Pamini, and get those boots of blinding awesome. Morrowind Maximum Hype. Um, later on, we're going to be seeing some uh, ninja driving lines where you can only use uh, your back tire and your front tire on certain obstacles. For the most part, as you guys see as we're going through these obstacles, um, we'll be landing on our back tire for the majority of the time. So one thing that isn't really clear in this game, and the creator, Confused Muscles, who's a really good ninja creator, um, likes to use a lot of these um, curved obstacles. And your bike, half the time, just doesn't want to grip on them. So more often than not, it makes it more difficult by putting tires there versus just a different ramp. And I personally despise all curved obstacles. It's a very small area to hit that sweet spot on the, the tire that's going to let you transverse to the next obstacle. Nice run, dude. Abra Lamb Lincoln donated $60 and says, I was going to use this $60 to buy Fallout 4, but there are people out there that need this money more than I need Fallout 4. All right, so this track is going to showcase a lot of throttle control. There's a ton of vertical walls, and if you notice in the bottom corner with the um, controller overlay, it's going to be very touchy. Yeah, he's going to be climbing a lot of vertical walls like that. You can see most, most of the level. time it's about 50 to 60%. Um, varies on the angles of the walls that need to be climbed.
So this is another checkpoint that requires uh, fender climbs and fender hooks. Save it, dude. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, no. And back to the beginning. That run was insane. Yeah, so this is. This is probably the most difficult checkpoint on this track. Just doing these switch hops is deceivingly difficult over and over again. <sighs> again, it's those curved obstacles. Oh my <laughs> god. Can you press RB? Okay, uh, I accidentally just reset to the start, but thankfully, because we're in the editor, we can just <laughs> skip back to that <laughs> checkpoint like nothing happened. <laughs> Uh, Definitely not cheating. <laughs> Back on the zero four run. Let's yep. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Believe it or not, this is actually one of the tracks that was considered to be played with the invisible bike. <laughs> you could do it consistently too. It's I, I, <laughs> incredibly impressive. I did do it, but uh, doing it live is a little different. Philco donated two hundred dollars and says, "Final Pam lives." <laughs> Get the engine book recover. No. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? <laughs> Hanno198 donated $5 and says, Nothing like sitting with my Frank or Z in a hot cof cup of coffee watching SGDQ. Here is. There we go. Stephen G donated twenty dollars and says, "Donating for Final Pam." Oh, and all the great speedrunners. Simon30 donated $5 and says, Greetings from Sweden. I love trials of games that have been playing them since I can remember. This is probably the most exciting part of SGDQ for me. Awesome tracks and keep it up. All right, he's almost done with this track. This is probably the longest and most throttle intensive track we have on the ninja side for this showcase.
I've actually never heard of noise there. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he's got to flip down and get underneath that for this checkpoint. <laughs> he doesn't see anything. <laughs> that section of the wall there is practically 90 degrees. So that's an underflip that we call that spendering with uh, not doing a front flip. This is the most annoying checkpoint on this track. Example of a checkpoint here that actually curves back on itself. Got to use full effect of the back tire. Oh, <laughs> for some reason I thought there was a checkpoint there. I have $10 from Austin177, who says, Austin Ivansmith, director of, on WayForward's DuckTales Remastered here, absolutely had to donate after watching that DuckTales custom track Trials Run. I don't know if I'm amazed or horrified. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly both. Great creation, Calzone. Thanks to Blaze for showing off these community maps. It's amazing how much time is devoted to them. I created a couple of Trials Evolution, but... Didn't have the patience these created talent or, uh, these talented creators do. And to Vantier, your trial skills are mind blowing. Wish I could donate more, but I'm already over my donation budget for the week. Thank you very much, Austin. Awesome donation, nice. Yeah, so those red flowers are just in place for bombs. They will kill you. Tugzug donated $30 and says, My third year of watching GDQ and haven't donated. What was I thinking? Put this towards that 100% Nightmare in Dreamland run, because more Kirby is always a good thing. Going for round three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. There we nice. go. 
No. So this um, jump, it's more about the landing on this bottom part to be able to get over that. If he goes too far, he's not going to have any no. momentum, just like that one. There's a little bit of a ramp uh, downhill, and you have to catch it perfectly to get the speed and the height over the uh, bottom at the end. That should be it. Yeah, he's got it. Crosby LFC donated $10 and says, Just past midnight in the UK. Gonna be another sleepless night watching you guys. Keep it up. So the creator of the track did something wonky with this log. It, you hit it and it kind of launches you up and sometimes it launches you backwards and weird spots, but he got lucky and it launched him right to where he needed to be. I have an anonymous $100 donation that says, I've been watching EGDQ and SGDQ these last years and it's always a pleasure to see how the speedrunners stretch the limits of the game mechanics. Thanks for doing this for a good cause. Don't get it. Oh, nice. Nope. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my bad. <laughs> We're just going to skip right back to where we were. There you go. <laughs> you said select again. In my defense, this isn't uh, the controller I normally use, and the analog sticks are a little uh, different. My thumb keeps slipping off and hitting select. <laughs> I have $25 from Kaboink, who says, I was going to hold off on my donations for the last days. But I had to donate because it's the first time I've ever heard of Trials Fusion, and I just wanted to thank GDQ for exposing me to new games. I would have never tried before. Right, this is going to be the last track I'm playing before I hand it over to Boss House. Yeah, another uh, castle track. Vintier really likes his castle tracks. This one has a lot of animations and movements in it. I have $10 from Smugleaf, who says, simply, please let Vaulty McVaultface win. As well as the animations, there's a lot of lever and butter, uh, button mechanics um, that you have to interact with to uh, change the track to be able to pass it. <laughs> I have $20 from an anonymous donor who says, Greetings from Bonnie Old Scotland. Fallout 3 is my favorite game ever, and I still don't know what a heartfelt talk with Dad is. Maybe I just play Heartless. All right, he just made that checkpoint look incredibly easy. Getting under that gong and sliding it right is incredibly frustrating. I don't even play this track anymore because of that checkpoint. As you land on your front um, tire, it compresses down to your momentarily as like a shallower height, so you're able to get under the gong. Lindsay Pavlos donated $50 and says, I love Final Pam and her beautiful metal husband and sweet perfect boys. Breach the system, Final Pam. There you go. <laughs> All right, let this, we'll let this cutscene play. All right, so we're gonna be playing more ninjas. Um, eventually getting the difficulty up even more. But for right now, it's going to stay fairly similar. Um, this track, Terra Cubed, was actually made by Van Tier, who's sitting right here. So he made this track, and he can tell you all about it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this track was actually made by me and the uh, Psycad, the same person who uh, helped me work on the uh, controller display. I did the driving line. He did uh, most of the decoration. It's... Uh, 
made almost entirely out of cubes. I think there's like 11,000 cubes on this track. We have a $50 anonymous donation that says, Huge Trials fan, I'd have been, been enjoying the ninjas. Maybe next time we can get a race? Oh. Nope, oh. not going to get that one. Anything goes wrong, Boss Hustle, just blame it on me since I made it. <laughs> yep, exactly. Of course, this track is uh, inspired by Minecraft. Is it Vantir? Inspired, sure. All right, I'm going to die in this lava. You guys can see this cool animation that they made. <laughs> just the blocks, I think it's awesome. anonymous $15 donation that says, Hi, this is my first time donating to Games Done Quick, but I've, been, but I've been following you guys for like two to three years now. I just wanted to say you guys are absolutely incredible for doing this, and I am happy to be part of it. Best of luck to the runners. Save the animals. You got anything to say about this track, Boss House? I think it's the most beautiful track <laughs> in all the trials, but that's me. They don't agree with me. <laughs> Some of the community uh, rates um, visuals and the backgrounds out of a five. Um, there's only two tracks. This is one of the ones that has a five. No, the, this one doesn't have a five, but the creator who made this has one of the only fives. Named Zach, he makes, I think, the best looking trials tracks as far as the community members go. Oh, save that, I was lucky. Terminus donated $50, says, first donation of this SGDQ. First of several, I think. Good luck to all the runners. Thanks to all the staff. Let's save some lives and some frames. Kill the animals. All right, this is the first track that's going to introduce back wheel only. So if I touch that right there, my front wheel is going to explode. So all these explosives are back wheel only. season, you guys. you might uh, recognize the theme of this track. Here we have another um, track that was submitted to the Ninja Building Competition for Games Done Quick this year. If you uh, keep your eyes out later in the track, there's going to be a sign in the back on one of the buildings that has uh, GDQ in big letters. Is 
that was another, you have to slam your momentum down to get under it. And the creator of this track, um, Calzone, also made the duck tails that you guys saw earlier. I would like to take a moment to remind everyone watching that you are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2016, benefiting Doctors Without Borders. We are live from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and one of our sponsors is Power Up Audio. They're an indie sound studio from Vancouver, Canada, and have worked on games such as Towerfall, Ascension, and Time Spinner. Their entire team is here, Jeff, Joey, Kevin, Cole, donating their time on sound and helping with the stream 24-7. <laughs> Thank you very much for all of your hard work so far. And as you can see at the start there, this is another track made for the ninja building competition for GDQ. <laughs> I'm not supposed to hit my face. Nice, you got a first try. I have $15 from Midnight Kitten who says, as a motorcycle enthusiast and a gamer, it has been great to watch you climb those crazy obstacles. All right, this is where the difficulty of these next three tracks um, really starts to ramp up. This is blue lights are only back wheel and yellow lights are gonna be only front wheel stuff. So this stuff I can only touch with my back wheel or front wheel. And this is the first level three, right? That you're gonna no, that's a level two, but okay. it's pretty close. And this is probably the most difficult checkpoint on this track. Mm -hmm. 
it is possible to recover in a situation like that, but it's really it's, tricky. Yeah, it's not easy. There we go. try. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. Did you ever zero fault this track? Uh, four. Oh. This song number one on PC right now. Okay, so this jump, you have to hit it pretty spot on to get that high. This track has a very nice selection of slides and back, entire backward bunny helps and front wheel flip downs. <laughs> I have a 100 anonymous donate dollar donation that says and now imagine a guy on a motorcycle climbing up your balcony like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these next two tracks uh, Boss House is playing are easily the hardest out of the selection. Yeah, so that was a bomb there. I had to flip over. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty touchy. That was actually my least favorite checkpoint in the whole entire run, and I got it first try, so that was really good for me. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first time we're going to be seeing a front wheel flip down. So I got a checkpoint, we're good. <laughs> okay, so this is a nose flip over a bomb onto back wheel only. for that one. Yeah, and what he just did there on that box bouncing on his back wheel is easily one of the hardest things in the game, as trivial as it, as it seems. I've been playing this game a long time and I still can't do that. <laughs> it's cool to stationary bunny hop. I mean, that allows you to jump a lot farther. I have $100 from Frankie Leone, who says, thanks all for the great speed running. Put this towards the announcer's choice. Okay, so this one's a little bit difficult to see what's front wheel and back wheel, but anything that has a white light on it is back wheel only, and anything that's black is front wheel only. So that, all that was back wheel, front wheel only, and this right after this bomb is back wheel, and then the front wheel.
And uh, how are we doing on time right now? Yep. Yeah. So yeah, all that was back wheel too. It's uh. Oh, I'm not gonna be fast enough. So it's kind of an invisible drop down to back wheel only. It's really annoying to have to do that. So I'm hoping I get this right here. Oh, okay, got it. So that was front wheel only, now that's back wheel. And this whole part is back wheel. And you can ride up hills on your back tire only. For some reason, it lets you carry your momentum up there. So this is back where only there's a bomb right there. Yeah, there's a lot of bombs here. Dark Moon Hotto donated ten dollars and says, "Just wanted to donate a little something and say great job with everything you guys are doing." All right, this is the last track of the run before the donation incentive, and this is a remake of originally on Trials Evolution. A guy named Murdoch Lock made this track, and then a guy named Jamaican X made this on uh, Fusion. It's pretty spot on remake. It's a super popular track. Time will be coming up when you uh, pass the finish line on this track. So this one here is a momental uh, regrip um, into a lean over with a spamming X. Very tricky technique. If you guys think that's a lot of boxes to bounce off um, in quick succession, uh, there is an awesome series of uh, logs coming up here. So I hate curved obstacles, and the last checkpoint I get is that's all it is. So it's extremely frustrating, but let's see if we can get it quick. And you can see the finish line up there. Yeah, so after this checkpoint, it's going to be time. Obstacles. <sighs> Lost grip on that one. Time. And that was the Retro Community Showcase. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Ventir, and he's going to do Retro Park Invisible.
This is a ninja track that's the bike's invisible, so it's uh, insane. Adam187 donated $50 and says, Loving this trials run. Put my donation towards the SMW bonus percent run. Phoenix donated $25 and says, Donating during my favorite run of the week. Ninja tracks are even harder when you're watching SGDQ on the side. Thanks for all the amazing skills on display. All right, so do you want to announce that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, while we begin this track, <laughs> I do want to mention that this was uh, the winner of the Games Done Quick building competition. Um, I give a congratulations to THD TE of the French community. Thank you very much for building this track, dude. You guys should be able to recognize a lot of uh, common gaming characters in the background. So yeah, he just knows us by feel, honestly. That's all there really is. Occasionally you get a little bit of a dust kick up from what wheels would normally be there, but... This is by far the toughest checkpoint invisible on this check just because he has to do a big back wheel hop right here and he can't really see where his back wheel is, so... Visible fenders. It could happen. You can tell <laughs> that's by far the most frustrating checkpoint on this track. <laughs> Oh, you got, got it. Got Bowser there in the background. Okay, so he gets his nose over that and just kind of have to guess where it's at. And do it again. Oh my. The okay. checkpoint's literally right there. <laughs> there we go. Trials Fusion for you guys. Nice community track showcase. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.
All right, everyone. It is time for our Bethesda block. How are you guys doing out there? Are you guys ready? Twitch chat and Discord, are you guys ready? Well, if you're not, you should definitely get ready because we have the most mind-bending, quest-breaking, physics-defying collection of runs you have ever seen. And if that isn't exciting enough, we have some very exciting news coming from the Elder Scrolls running community, so definitely stick around for that. Our first game up in our Elder Scrolls and Bethesda block this evening is Elder Scrolls Arena. It's a bit of a chaotic time for the Empire and Tamriel, as everyone seems to be fighting each other. And even worse, the Emperor's own battle mage has imprisoned him in an alternate dimension.